Hello everybody, I'm your host Woody and today we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 dark secrets of the scariest cults in history. From the terrifying to the downright bizarre, let's get into it. Number 10, the Freedomites. After the Tsarist persecution in Russia, a group of pacifist anti-materialist Christians, referred to as spirit warriors, fled the country and came to Canada in the 20th century. While many were happy to just live freely off the land, a section of the group grew unhappy at the Canadians for asking them to attend school and enlist in the military. This group called themselves the Sons of Freedom, or Freedomites, and despite their name, wanted to impose their way of belief on others. They were most famous for their dislike of materialism, and would often show this by protesting in the complete nude. Many photos of the group of farmers marching in the nude became pretty famous and put the religion on the map. They didn't simply protest in the nude though, they took to another more violent outlet, arson, burning down many buildings including homes, schools, courtrooms, and bridges. This led to the persecution of the entire group, including the peaceful ones who hadn't been involved, and they were pretty much wiped out of the country. Number 9. Angels Landing Daniel Perez led the Angels Landing cult for 15 years. They traveled from state to state and had a large commune on Daniel's property near Wichita. Things overall didn't seem too bad for people looking in, but suspicions were raised when there were a number of so-called accidental deaths, and Daniel always seemed to be coming into large amounts of money. As it turns out, Daniel Perez actually had been responsible for the deaths that had taken place in the group, and he had been using it as a ploy to collect their life insurance money, collecting millions of dollars over the years. However, he wouldn't be able to get away with it forever when one young member of the group returned to the police to tell her that she had actually lied about one of the deaths being accidental. After he was found responsible and arrested, he was finally put on trial in 2015, being charged with a total of 28 different crimes. Number 8. The Ant Hill Kids The Ant Hill Kids were in existence for 8 years, and at their peak had a following of only 12 adults and 26 children. Rock Theriot created the group when he believed that the world was going to end in 1979, and as with most leaders, gained his followers through his charisma and looks. He moved them to a place in Quebec where they started building a town, working together like a group of ants and coining their name. Over time, the leader became violent due to his excessive drinking, and and would perform drunken surgeries on the cult members in attempts to prove that he could heal them, but always doing much more harm than good. One of his many wives managed to escape the horrible conditions and went to the police about what had happened, Rock being arrested six weeks later. His arrest ended the group and he went away for life in prison, dying in 2011 at the hands of a fellow inmate. Number 7. Heaven's Gate From 1974 to 1997, around 200 men and women unsatisfied with their lives came together and joined the Heaven's Gate cult. The group was formed by Marshall Applewhite and Bonnie Nettles after they had met and bonded in a psychiatric institution. They believed that they were both aliens camouflaged in human bodies and had been sent to teach people about the afterlife in outer space that was referred to as the next level. He convinced his followers to move away from their families to get ready to be taken to the next level, but it didn't end up happening and most of their followers left. But but we're living in the future, so the two took to the internet to gain new followers, the website still being available to view online to this day. This ended up culminating in 1997 with the group leaving their containers and graduating from their current lives, being found with buzzed haircuts, $5.75 in their pockets, and Nike decades. Number 6. Synanon In 1958, Synanon was opened in Santa Monica, and it would be active there for over 30 years, having 30 1,300 members at its peak. This group mainly recruited addicts and took many different forms over its lifespan, a rehabilitation program, a utopian society, and a church. It was created by Charles Dedrich and its staples were its focus on quitting cold turkey, tough love, and something called the game, where one member of the group opens up and the rest verbally attack them. Hundreds of people eventually moved in and paid to live there, Synanon at one point having around $33 million 
dollars in assets. But Charles' greed and hunger for power only continued to grow, and the conditions in the place worsened over time, facing accusations of things like abduction and brainwashing. The lawsuit placed and won made Charles so angry that he got his followers to put a venomous snake in the man's mailbox, the man barely surviving. He was eventually arrested and Synanon was shut down for the allegations and for tax fraud. Number 5. The People's Temple This one is the one that most of us are probably all familiar with, especially if you chose to click on this video. Reverend Jim Jones created what he called the People's Temple of the Disciples of Christ, but you probably know it as Jonestown, the place that was supposed to be utopia. Many people liked him and he had thousands of followers, and even the support of politicians. What they didn't know was that Jones had a penchant for substance abuse and was very violent towards his followers. Jonestown, the supposed utopia, quickly became a nightmare for the people living there, being held under strict rules and regimens. On November 18th, a California congressman came to visit, and people wanted to escape with him back to the United States. Jones became incredibly angry at this notion and ordered everyone into the pavilion, ordering them to drink a mixed drink that would kill them. Number 4. Demas Kanjang Demas Kanjang was able to form a cult fairly easily. The leaders of these types of groups will usually try to convince you of something, whether it be that they are an alien or have magical healing powers. Demas did this by convincing people that he could pull money out of thin air, and the way that he did it is incredibly simple. You can see videos of him demonstrating this online. He simply puts his hands behind his back, and then brings them forward with money in them, obviously having just kept the money behind his back. But it was somehow still enough to convince people that he had magic powers. Sometimes pulling not just money from the air, but also meatballs and plastic bags of soup. He somehow managed to amass thousands of followers and almost $38 million in donations, even coming from high-ranking members of the military and people in government. When two of his followers realized that he was eventually going to run out of money to pull from behind his back, they confronted him, and he responded by having them both killed. He was arrested and convicted in 2016 and still has another 12 years to serve. Number 3. Scientology the so-called Church of Scientology was developed by L. Ron Hubbard and surrounds the idea that humans have trauma preventing them from experiencing life properly and that they must work towards a spiritual state called clear. Their teaching surrounds a few different truths, some of them being listed as man is an immortal spiritual being. His experience extends well beyond a single lifetime. His capabilities are unlimited, even if not presently realized. They also believe in an alien called Xenu who brought all his buddies to Earth. 75 million years ago and blew them up next to a volcano, which, you know, makes sense. You've probably heard about Scientology because of just how many celebrities are connected to it. Its members include people like Tom Cruise, John Travolta, and Kirstie Alley. Scientology is incredibly controversial, mostly due to the reports of them brainwashing their members and the evidence that the cult had been created for the express purpose of making money. Number 2. The True Russian Orthodox Church The True Russian Orthodox Church is one of many so-called doomsday cults, groups that center their beliefs and practices around the idea of the world ending, and usually very soon. Just south of Moscow in November of 2007, a trained engineer who had declared himself a prophet blessed his group members before sending them into a cave to wait for the world to end. And while they were in there, he was getting a psychiatric evaluation. The 35 group members stayed inside the cave and threatened to detonate gas canisters if anyone tried to remove them. They they stayed in the cave for months, just sitting around and waiting for the world to end in the small area. Two of the group members eventually passed away within the cave, and as they could not leave lest they face the apocalypse, they simply stayed in the room with the bodies. However, in April it became too much, and the living group members were convinced to come out of the cave and return to society, finding that the world hadn't ended after all. The leader was taken to the hospital after being distraught over his prediction not coming true, and the cult was ended. Number one, the FLDS. If you've been browsing through Netflix recently, then you've probably seen the limited series called Keep Sweet, Pray, and Obey. The series documents the history of the group called the Fundamentalist Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints, or FLDS for short. It chronicles the series of people who have managed to escape from the group, which broke off from Mormonism in the 1930s after polygamy was outlawed. It was led by ruling Jeffs, but things apparently didn't get too bad until his son, Warren Jeffs, took over, dissipating the 
council and taking complete control over the group. Many terrible things happen throughout their history and if you want the full details, feel free to watch the series, I really do recommend it. It included things like psychological blackmail, separating children from their families to be sent to do labor on a supposed utopia in Texas, and more. Things came to a head in a 2008 raid of the compound and Jeffs went to prison, but the group is still active today with Jeffs still giving teachings from behind bars. Thank you guys for watching, that was the top 10 dark secrets of the scariest cults in history. I've been Woody and you've been amazing. Join us next time for more lists and scary things. Mm -hmm.